In this video, we'll be talking about metaplasia, which is one type of cellular adaptation. So let's see what happens to a cell when it undergoes an injury. This cell has undergone an injury, so it is in a stressed situation. It would obviously try to adapt to the condition. And there are different ways of adaptation. Some of the adaptation we have looked at in previous video, like hypertrophy, which means increase in the size of the cells, hyperplasia, which means increase in the number of the cells, atrophy, which means decrease in the size of the cells, and ultimately metaplasia, which simply means change in the type of the cell, not the number, not the size. So metaplasia, in short, is one type of cellular adaptation. So what is the ultimate goal? So basically, if there is metaplasia, cell can overcome the injury or adapt better to overcome the stress that is that it is undergoing and if the injury is too much and it is so serious that cell cannot take it then cell would have to basically think about dying so basically when the injury is irreversible it would lead to necrosis or apoptosis but many of the injuries are reversible so cells can combat that injury with specific adaptation method. So in this video, we'll talk about metaplasia. Metaplasia is a reversible change in which one adult cell type, for example, epithelial cell or maybe mesenchymal cell is replaced by another adult cell type. So this is really important type of adaptation. For example, there was a squamous epithelia which got converted into these columnar or cuboidal epithelia. So this kind of change is known as metaplasia. So here are a few important points regarding metaplasia. This change occur in response to a stimulus or stress. And we would see many examples for that. The metaplasic change in the cell shape help in to adapt it better. So it's basically not only a change in shape, it's exactly the change in the cell type for example cuboidal epithelia and squamous epithelia they are totally different cell types right so it's a reversible process sometimes when the stress of the stimulus is withdrawn the cell size and the cell type can also be restored question is what is the common cause of metaplasia so basically chronic irritation inflammation can be a common cause or trigger for metaplasia the body responds to these kind of stressors by replacing one cell type with another so for example there is a man who smokes daily he's a chain smoker so in his uh, respiratory tract especially especially in the bronchi the epithelial respiratory epithelium can get converted into stratified squamous epithelium in response to these kind of chronic irritation from the cigarette smoke this is an example of pathologic metaplasia. Another example is like GERD. People who have uh, esophageal, uh, so acid reflux problem, they might experience one sort of metaplasia. Here, the normal esophageal cells, which is squamous epithelium, will get converted into columnar epithelium, upper, uh, uh, I mean upon repetitive uh, gastric acid reflux. So this kind of conversion helps to prevent the harmful effect of gastric acid reflux. Now it's important to note that sometime metaplasia could also be a risk of cancer. But before that, let me tell you intestinal metaplasia is it's a transformation of the cell lining of the upper digestive tract into stomach or uh, basically into an intestine like fate. So it is intestinal metaplasia because the cells can change to become more intestine-like. Sometimes H. pylori infection is a trigger for uh, this kind of non-neoplastic change. As I mentioned before, sometimes this metaplasia can also be a trigger for formation of cancer. Imagine that same Barrett esophagus example. So here is the normal esophageal epithelium. After repetitive acid reflux, the epithelium changes into specific cuboidal epithelia. It's basically known as Barrett esophagus. If the 
treatment of GERD is done properly, then it would be also reversible. That means normal epithelium would be restored. But if it is untreated and there is a prolonged acid reflux, in that case, dysplasia can occur. And in the dysplasic Barrett esophagus, there could be a development of esophageal adenocarcinoma. So this is how we can understand that basically metaplasia could also turn into a cancer. It's important to note that metaplasia itself is non-neoplastic uh, <coughs> or non-cancerous. It's a reversible change as well. But a prolonged untreated condition might lead to cancer situation. But also exception ex exists. Apocrine metaplasia of the breast does not increase the risk of cancer. Apocrine metaplasia of the breast refers uh, refer to the benign transformation of the breast epithelial cell into the apocrine characteristic. But it doesn't turn into a cancer-like situation or doesn't increase the risk of cancer as well. So another example of metaplasia is vitamin A deficiency, which can lead to keratomalacia. So basically, the thin squamous lining of the conjunctiva gets keratinized and it becomes keratinized squamous epithelium. So basically, this is another uh, example of nutrient deficiency induced uh, metaplasia. So there are other examples such as connective tissue metaplasia, where certain connective tissue gets converted into different tissue like bone tissue. So this is also known as osseous metaplasia. There are muscular metaplasia. In this case, what happens is the skeletal muscle may undergo a metaplasia and transform into a smooth muscle. So if we look into physiology, there are different examples of metaplasia. And one thing to remember in this video that metaplasia is a change of cell type and metaplasia also occurs when there is certain kind of stress or stimulus. It cannot occur by itself. So we looked at specific examples like epithelial metaplasia, GERD associated metaplasia and also discussed how metaplasia can also increase the risk of cancer. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And you can support our channel using super thanks. You can contribute using Paytm, PayPal, UPI, net banking, etc. See you in next video.